There's one type of animal video on the internet that makes me cheer every time I see it. It doesn't involve cats or dogs, and it's nothing furry or feathered. I just love the flapping fins of hatchling sea turtles as they fight their way down the beach and into the ocean for hopefully decades of hard shell shenanigans. The problem is sea turtle eggs can be prime targets for bad guys, you know, poachers. Now technology is tracking these eggs that are carried away by human legs. Here's Adam Yamaguchi to explain. Sea turtles are beautiful, majestic creatures, but it's estimated only one in a thousand hatchlings survives into adulthood. One reason is their vulnerability to predators after they've hatched. Then there are poachers who steal turtle eggs and sell them to restaurants as a food delicacy. To tackle the latter problem, two women on opposite sides of the country developed a tracking device using global positioning and messaging technology, or GPS and GMS, and made it look and feel like a real turtle egg. First, I visited Ventura, California to meet Dr. Sarah Otterstrom, executive director of the conservation group Paso Pacifico, to learn more about their innovative investigator. So how is the investigator used? The investigator is used to track the movement of that stolen nest as it moves from the beach to the highway to the market and beyond. We're losing upward of 90% of the sea turtle nests that are laid on the beaches. Paso Pacifico joined in a wildlife crime tech challenge, and their consulting scientist, Kim Williams Gian, who lives in Michigan, came up with the idea of putting GPS tracking devices inside fake turtle eggs. The first thing we had to do was to find a small transmitter. So we found the smallest one we could find, which just barely, barely fits the dimensions of a green sea turtle egg. The next challenge is creating a faux egg that not only looked real, but had a similar pliable texture as an authentic turtle egg. We start with a consumer grade 3D printer. This filament is what we use. It's extremely tough. It's really stretchy. Kim inserted a tiny transmitter and battery inside the 3D printed eggshell and sealed it up. She personally makes each egg by hand and 200 have been deployed so far. Back in California, Sarah showed me how it's done. We have to sneak in and find that nest that could be vulnerable to poaching and carefully dig through that column that she's created and insert the egg directly in there. After that, it becomes a waiting game for poachers to raid the nest. Now, how do you track this egg? The tracking device communicates via an app that we have on my phone, and you can see it right here. So you can see in real time where this egg is going, and if we were to take off and go to an illegal market, I could track your movements as you went there. I carried the turtle egg as I walked the beach, and Sarah was able to follow my movements. Ending wildlife poaching may seem insurmountable, but using technology to help save a truly unique species is a step in the right direction.